Hello folks, it's Lilia back here and I'm here with an absolutely new video for you guys and today I'm going to share with you one very effective tip on how to prepare for your exam successfully. You might be planning to take an international exam and you might be in the beginning of your preparation process or you might be choosing the tutor or a language school to help you get through this interesting yet demanding process. So here is what I'm going to tell you today. With many one-to-one -one students I meet on a daily basis, I get one concern, and this is something my students ask me to do all the time. They get a little bit concerned that I don't pack every single lesson with exam activities because they think that only exam activities and doing those exam formative activities in a row will help them get to their exam goal very, very successfully. But this is not something I believe in, and based on my own experience of taking international exams such as CAE and CPE, I've learned that it's only the general English base that you acquire with your English language will help you get there in a sophisticated way. The reason for that being is that when you're building up on your English base, it's very important to focus on the skills you get as a result of the exam. All respectable exams are designed in a way that they test your English skills, such as speaking, listening, writing and reading, and a little bit of grammar. So yeah, grammar lovers, good news over to you. You will get this opportunity to make your grammar knowledge shine and it will pay off as a result. But it's really important to build up on the general English base. Therefore, when I'm teaching, apart from exam activities, which we obviously do quite a lot in order to familiarise you with the format, it's very important to just pack a few general English speaking, relaxing activities that are based on you developing your fluency in a way that will get you prepared for any unexpected situation you might get in your exam. The reason why we're doing this is in order to help you speak off the cuff without any preparation. There is no prescribed set of questions that you might be expecting in your exam, so you need to be able to act impromptu, improvising, and this is really important. So when you build up on this general English base, that will get you ultimately prepared for any exam situation you might get in your examination classroom, and this is the goal we really want to achieve teaching to the construct, not teaching to the test. You might want to Google those things. In that way, you'll be able to assess your own preparedness, your own ability to cope well with the exam. And you won't even need any teacher to be telling you that because you will know, ultimately, which level you're at. While you will obviously have to do quite a lot of tests to familiarise yourself with the exam format, which, depending on your exam, is bound to be rather specific. It's really important to build up all that general English base to help you become a confident speaker, no matter what you do, no matter which exam you're planning to take. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. That was Lilia, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and ask me any questions you have in the comment section down below because I'll try my best to deal with them all and I'll try to answer as many of your questions as I possibly can. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you very, very soon in all of my other videos on exam preparation if you're a learner of English and planning to take an exam, on teacher training if you're a teacher and you want to enhance your knowledge of communicative methodology and teaching better for your class and just positive psychology and positive teacher training mindful teaching as I call it so that helps us make the world a better place to live in thank you so much that was Lilia I'll talk to you soon bye